My name is Nadia Anderson. My name is Keenan Smith. Welcome. You listen to Power Your Story Podcast Season 2. The show starring the students of Ray Graham Training Center High School in Chicago. With production support for At This School Matters. And the Creative and Poster Studios. Today, we are talking about how to have more personal power by having the right mindset. Naya polls our student producers and staff about how to be a good friend and talks with Ray Ground teacher, Ms. Burgess. Enjoy the show. My name is Nadia. How to be a good friend. Hello there. To be a good friend, you have to be nice. You can't be bullying nobody. You can't be hitting on them or nothing like that. So you just got to be a good friend. That's how you got to be a good friend. Well, you must cook me food. That's one of the requirements. Um, another requirement, you must be a girl. A good looking girl, too. And that's it. You can't hit them or you can't argue with them and stuff. Have to be a cool friend, Sonia. Be an honest to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be with a nice person, not with people who be like negative, negative and be nice to them. Treat them right. If you want everybody to treat you right, treat them right. You know? This is how you be a good friend, to be nice to someone and treat them right. Because if you don't, they're going to treat you the wrong way, too. Have a good friend. My best friend is, is to watch the TV. I mean, my mom, she's all trying to get everybody to survive this baby. If we be brought up with Sebastian. Have a good friend. You have to be nice with the uh, Be special. And what just to make friends, this is what I was saying. If you want to make friends, a hush mouth don't get fed. If you see a friend that you like, say something. A hush mouth don't get fed. How to be a good friend, okay. Well, to me, a good friend to me has to have a good personality, has to respect themselves and others, and uh, has to be there for you even if you're in a bad state. How a good friend, Alfred? Uh, if a friend, like, treats you right. How to be a good friend. Well, let's see. I think it first starts out with communication. We need to be more open, more available uh, to communicate with one another. You know, more respectful. Learn how to say hello when you see someone. You know, learn how to say how you doing. A smile and help people out. You have to listen to what other people say and what they need, and you have to have fun with other people, spend time with them, get to know them, be respectful, help them out when they need help, and that's how you be a good friend. Amen. Amen. One good way to be a good friend is to be nice and kind to others and treat your friends the way that you want to be treated and always think about others and not yourself. I'm here with Ms. Burgess. Hi, Nadia, how are you? Good. How to be a good friend? I think to be a good friend, you need to be there for your friends. You need to listen to them, help them as much as you can. Okay. What are the ways I can help my friends? When your friend is upset, you can help calm them down. When you think your friend's about to do something to get in trouble, maybe you can help talk them out of it. Like fighting? Yeah, maybe one of your friends is about to fight somebody else and you can stop them, right? Maybe talk them I'm out of it. I'm going hit me. Well, maybe you can pull them away or before it even happens, your friend might tell you, oh, so-and-so made me so mad and you can tell them to ignore it. Or walk, or walk away. Or walk away or, or go tell Miss Thomas and Miss Parker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. What the fuck do you have to do with my friends? You can go to the movies. You could go to the mall. You could go to Navy Pier, <gasps> bowling. Bowling, skating? Yeah, ice skating or roller skating. How about parties, like we dancing? Like PG-10 parties? No, <laughs> like singing, dancing. <laughs> you could, or you could go to some concerts. Oh, like Sosa Boy Bow Wow? 
Yeah. What was your favorite concert that you went to? I went to Soldier Boys and I went to Bow Wow. Okay, very nice. Having a friend makes you more powerful. I don't know if it makes you more powerful, but it makes you a better person and a happier person. Because if you're all by yourself all the time, you won't have anybody to talk to. You won't have anybody to go to for advice. When I graduate, how I make friends at the school? So you can join the park district and meet friends. You can meet friends at work. And you can meet friends at like clubs at the library. You can go to the library and learn how to play chess or sew or they have different activities you can do. Oh. After, after I graduate, I'm going to the pot district. Ms. Bridget, Ms. Buckner and Ms. Howard put me in the pot district close to me to see me in Special Olympics. Right, everybody age out. I'm in the pot district. And you will meet tons of friends at the park district. Tons of friends? Tons of friends. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Burgess. You're welcome. Thank you. My name is Malik Daniels. How, how can you make friends with um, everyone to come to you? So one thing that makes good friends is people who have the same interests as you. So maybe you find a person that likes the same things as you, like playing video games or certain TV shows or music, so you can enjoy playing video games together. Like the Wii. Do you play the Wii in the cafeteria? Um, yes, I do. And you probably play it with a friend that enjoys the Wii too, right? Yeah. What if my uh, friend pissed me off? So when your friend makes you mad, what do you do? Actually, um, I will tell him a nice way first. As a warning, I'd be like, please don't piss me off because I wasn't okay. able to, uh, you know, just to get along. But then when they being push my button. So a good friend wouldn't make you that mad. You should be able to tell them, hey, you know, maybe they're brushing your shoulder or touching you all the time. You can say, hey, can you please stop doing that? And they should do that if you're a good friend, right? Right. Actually, I am a good person. You know, I want to make friends. But if I ask them in a nice way, I'd be like, hey, don't call me on my name. You just know, I just want to have a good time. Right, and your friend shouldn't be calling you out by your name, right? right? But sometimes friends do make us mad by something they might say or do, but they don't mean any harm. Sometimes they don't even realize that they made you upset. So when you just say, hey, you know, that kind of made me upset that you said that, they should be like, okay, I won't do it again. Mm, yeah, you're right. Malik, what do you think makes a good friend? So, um, making a good friend is that be more professional. Don't be like nobody else or act like a kid. And because, like, if you if you like being a professional and you can and you start you start acting out, going crazy, like. They cannot make friends come to you, and you would be alone by yourself. Okay, that's a good answer. What does Nadia think that makes a good friend? Like, be faithful, tell the truth, be loyal, be yourself, don't argue with them. Like, talk to them and be faithful. Okay, I wish you a good, safe day. <laughs> Thank you, Millie. My name is Nadia Anderson. How to be a good friend. Be yourself. That I means don't be fake, be real, tell the truth. Then like people be your friend. Number two is set a goal. Go to the movies, go out to eat and don't dancing. Or go to the mall. Or go to Navy Pier or David Busters. Or go to your friend's house or your boyfriend's house or your girlfriend. It don't matter, boyfriend or girlfriend. Person. They don't get up close and personal. I mean, you talk to them close and you need to know them and talk to them personal and you were close, like, you know them. Smile, say cheese, like, cause they always need to be happy, put a happy in your face and smile. Loosen up, that means don't get mad, be, like, you pretty, you awesome, you nice. And I don't say them stupid, that don't make them hurt their feelings and make them cry. Don't do that. Be, like, be loyal, be a good friend. Like, speak the truth. Like, be, the truth. be honest. Don't tell a lie, speak the truth. Because lying, I don't get you nowhere. Yeah, it's always speak the truth. How to make friends after graduation. Try something new. Be yourself. Explore your city. Like, go out with your friends, shopping, like your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Like, go out to the movies. Just know your new friends. Get to know your 
coworkers. It's like the people you work with. Social media, like Facebook, Instagram, phone, computer, social. Meet your friends or friends. Like, like you meet your friend, or like your friend, or your friend with somebody else. Like if I'm friend with Miss Newbie and you don't know her, I introduce you and say, "No, Nadia." Then I know her too. Then I know her for a long time. That how you be friends. This episode was produced by Nadia Anderson, Monique Daniel. You can subscribe to our show on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, or Stitcher Radio. Check us out on the web at PowerYorkStorePunkers.com. And on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Thanks again for listening. Peace.